Yo, what is up, Latin Proud crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fan. Fantastic. It is a beautiful humid day here in Indiana and actually it's gonna get up to almost 95 today And I think about 90% plus humidity. So I'm out here in the morning Went for my 6 a.m. Run three mile run got back Showered cleaned up got a cup of coffee and I'm out here right now trying to film this video for you guys couple things I want to update you guys on about the 7-3 video that I made the other day potentially we did not see the full potential of the um, Quadzilla. My dad's like, what you want to do if you want to know if you're really noticing a difference, he's like, you want to turn the edge on, put it back to stock setting, and disconnect it. He's like, because if, if you don't and it's still hooked up, even though you might think you're using the Quadzilla, he's like, it's still just on the setting that the edge was last programmed on. So you want to turn that on, unprogram it, and then disconnect it down low, and you should be good to go. So what we're going to do is that's what we're gonna actually, we're actually gonna do, I totally forgot the keys again, every time I come out here I forget the keys to a truck and I have to do it all over again. But anyways guys, really quick before we get into this video, beautiful person, this truck needs some TLC really, really, really bad. Look at all these spider webs going across the barnyard. There we go, got that down out of the way. We are doing a 12 valve giveaway right now. So, we just did a Labor Day 12% off sale with the code 12 out that is now gone. It was only for 24 hours Actually more like 15 hours and then it was out uh, So thank you guys so much for everybody who participated and used that code and saved some cash while entering for the giveaway And yes when we do giveaway sales like that you still do get entered to win even if you got a discount code It does not exclude you from the giveaway you are still entered in whatever you spent still gets you entered towards the giveaway So anyways guys you can enter 20 either this duly the red first gen or nasty red. Every $15 you spend is another entry to win. Winner gets to pick whichever truck they want. Five speed, five speed, or the built automatic nasty red, which is an insane truck, and we're gonna see it very soon. All in the new paint and body work, and it's going to be a beast, and I'm super, super excited. Anyways, let's get into the video. So, long story short, it was very, very, very easy thing to do, but I did have to disconnect the um, Quadzilla, which is very easy. It's just a 10 mil on the back and the two sevens right inside here. I disconnected the chip, pulled it out, and I didn't put the whole bracket back in, but I did set the computer back on the shelf really quick and hook that 10 mil back up on the other side. I'm deprogramming the edge so that it is basically erased from the system. It's going to go back to stock and then I'm going to unplug it. And then after that, once the edge is back to stock and disconnected, it's going through its system right now. Then we're going to, like I said, disconnect it and then we're going to hook the Quadzilla back up, put it back in there, and then turn it on and hopefully we are getting the results that we want. Because I think on the last time it was kind of thrown off because the edge was still programmed for towing, you know, for tow mode. And I'm trying to program using that chip at the same time. So it's just they're like fighting each other. And so it was it was kind of giving me issues and false, you know, um, false, I guess, potential from the tunes because they were kind of fighting each other. It was just it was just not working out very well. So hopefully this will give us a true feeling for um, what the Quadzilla stuff can do and the true experience with the tunes and how they feel and act on the road. This is gonna be the first startup since taking out the edge, setting the edge back to stock and then unplugging it and disconnecting and all that stuff. And then also since we got the chip hooked back up and hopefully everything is proper this time, and I haven't clicked on the setting three for startup, so we'll see how that goes. As far as I know, you can just turn it on um, and then choose your settings. I believe, don't know for sure if you know Quadzilla's more than me, uh, let me know. But as far as I know, it's on the fly, so we can choose our settings once we're on the road. I don't know for sure, so you know I don't know how this stuff works but I am going to pull the truck out of the barn. I think the tuner is working now. Um, beforehand, so that's stock setting. This is high idle. This is towing setting one, towing setting two. I believe this is daily driving tune. Now we're on setting seven. Well, I'm actually leaving our property right now. I was in the process of kind of trying to feel out this chip again on the way to the property, see if I could figure it out again. Just check some trail camera pictures and 
apparently the camera wasn't on, so that sucks. <laughs> um, and then also I did a little bit of bush hogging around the pond and a few other things. But anyways, let's get back on the road and see if I can show you guys this tuner in setting eight. And now something you guys have to keep in mind, those of you who might not be familiar with tuners and chips and stuff like that, they're only trying to reprogram your computer based on your current parts, like stock parts. Now you can have tuners obviously with a lot of modifications done to the engine and stuff and program those accordingly, but for this tuner, everything else on the engine is pretty much stock. There's some very slight things like some, you know, intake stuff and piping and stuff like that, but, but nothing like injectors and bigger turbo and all this other stuff. Keep that in mind when you're watching, you know, the RPMs and the acceleration time and stuff like that. Like it's supposed to be power increase, but you also have to keep in mind, you know, it's not a 600 horsepower truck or an 800 horsepower truck. I mean, it's just a truck running on stock parts with a tuner to try to milk the parts as much as you can. Stop. We got a dead wide open road, front and rear. We're at zero. I'm just gonna do like a, uh, just an acceleration run. As it was programmed out, I set it back to the edge stock setting, and then um, it says that it was, you know, it unprogrammed the tuning and stuff like that, but I'm not sure. We're gonna have to figure that out. Well, back here with the, the old dually and the red first gen here. So we have big red right here, but what we're gonna try to figure out here is what we wanna do in terms of wheels and tires for this truck. So. As I've told you guys many times, I want to run chrome wheels on this truck. We've done a lot of trucks with black wheels, which if you guys aren't familiar with why we do that, I mean, they do look good, but also the, the fact is that like when you live in this part of the country, like Northern Indiana, just the Midwest and up North, all that stuff, you deal with a lot of salt, okay? Lots and lots of salt in the winter. So for the trucks that we actually plan to drive more than just in the summer, we like to run black wheels because they don't pit, okay? So the, the chrome stuff just pits. Chrome and forged stuff just pits really bad, and so it just it just does not go well. Um, and it would just be sucky to buy a nice set of forged wheels or chrome wheels, and then they they're just pitted to crap within like two years, and then they just look awful. So your investment to make your truck look nicer just went to crap. Being that this one is also up for the giveaway, and the fact that like. If this truck doesn't get picked, I'm probably not gonna win or drive this vehicle just because it's just too nice to win or drive and I wouldn't wanna do that after all these years of it not being win or driven. I wanna go chrome on this because it just looks like it'd be a good truck to go with chrome wheels. You know, it's got the chrome grill, the chrome mirrors, but then just those nice body lines. I just wanna see chrome wheels on the red truck, you know? I was going to originally go with like an 18 by nine from Anthem, but after talking to Dave with Anthem, he said, unfortunately we don't have 18 by nines in Chrome. You know, Chrome's cool, but it's just not a top seller. You know what I mean? Like all those guys down south on the beach with their trucks and stuff, the Chrome's cool, whatever. They sell tons of Chrome stuff down that way. But for most of the country, you know, up north and stuff, we don't buy a lot of Chrome wheels. Not 20 by 12s on this truck, because we've done 20 by 12s a lot of times. And since this truck is just, I want to kind of keep like the classic essence of it. And I know 20s aren't really a classic thing on a truck like this but I want chrome. So I'm not gonna go with you know another black wheel, even though they're really cool. I just wanna see chrome on this truck. So what we're gonna try to do, I want you guys' opinion on that. What do you guys think we should run on the truck? They have 17 by nines, 18 by nines. I don't mind going 20. So here's what I was thinking. You guys can let me know what you guys think of down in the comments below. But since this is the smallest chrome wheel that I can get, 20 by 10, not a 20 by 12, but a 20 by 10, Anthem Gunner Chrome, which is a really nice looking wheel, and then go with two, what, are, what was the size? I think it was 275-55 R20 Toyo MT. So a really good looking tire and that's, I think it measures to be a 31 and a half inch tire. And before anybody says, well dude, go 33s or you know, go this, that or, or the other, you know, but I don't want to do with rubbing on this truck. And since my other truck rubs a little bit with the same size tire, obviously it's a lot lower in the front end, but it rubs a little bit with a 31 and a half inch tire. So I'd rather run the same size tire, but just 
a mud terrain on this truck so it clears and doesn't have any issues with sharp turns or hitting bumps and stuff like that. I just don't want rubbing issues on this truck. 31 and a half inch tall, Toyo MT is what I'm planning on regardless of the wheel that you guys decide. 31 and a half inch Toyo MT, which is gonna look really, really sick on this truck. And then in terms of wheel, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Now, even a 20 by 12 on a truck like this hardly sits flush with the fender. So a 20 by 10 is gonna sit just a little bit in, but almost flush. So it's, it's still gonna have a good look, a good aggressive look um, for the old school truck, but it's not gonna be like a giant stanced out, you know, like nasty red, which is sick. And I love the stance on that truck, but it's not gonna be like, that more modern you know theme that is typically done on trucks so it's going to be you know it's going to have more sense than it does now because right now it's sitting on pizza cutters but it's going to sit more like just on the hardly on the inside of the fender with some nice fat you know 12 wide tires um versus you know stanced way out and all that you know all that jazz which is cool it's just just now what we want to do on this truck before we totally turn off the video for today what do you guys think i should do with the interior on this truck other than start by on the exterior getting the uh, windshield wipers back on. But what do you guys think I should do with the interior? Leave it the way it is, which is just the way I bought it, which is, I mean, it's fine, but it's just missing a column cover here, which isn't a big deal to me. Um, I mean, it's not that bad. It's a little bit dirty. It could use wipe down in a couple spots, but it's pretty clean. It could use, it could use a head unit. That's for sure. That's something I'd love to throw in here at some point there's just a lot of expenses going on right now um what are you guys thinking leave it get rid of some trim stuff or just leave it all because like in these trucks they're just notorious for this crap just i mean it just falls apart i mean you just can't get around it in these things and that's why like in my other truck they take it all out because like if you look here I mean, just the trim just on both sides just starts falling apart. The ceiling gets a little bit saggy. It's only a little bit saggy on that side, but it's just, it gets, some stuff just gets annoying. These things are a little bit loose, but I mean, it's, they're fine. You know, they're fine. Like the door things are falling off, but they are just a little bit loose. So what do you guys think? Mess with the interior. Whoever wins it is okay with it the way it sits. The seat's not all ripped up. You know what I mean? Not a bunch of junk thrown everywhere. There's like a little spray bottle of uh, rain x back there, but that's it. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Interior, should I do anything with this truck to clean it up? Other than obviously if somebody, you know, picks this truck, I'm going to completely clean out the inside in terms of vacuum, shampoo the carpets, you know, wipe down all the trim and plastic and stuff, make sure it's not dirty. But other than that, I'm not sure how much more I really want to do with the interior of it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely go down to the link in the description. Enter the 12 out giveaway. You could be winning this truck, this truck that's getting new shoes here soon, or the nasty red 12 out, which you guys are gonna see very soon if you have not yet seen it already. Um, it's going to be absolutely awesome, and winner gets to pick one of the three trucks and take it home, and I cover expenses to get it home for you, whether you want it shipped or you want to come get it or you want it delivered, stuff like that. Um, I pay for those expenses, so you guys don't have to worry about that. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.